Hi everyone, and welcome to another Langmuir Systems Fusion 360 tutorial video. In the last video, we covered trimming, extending, and offsetting aspects of our sketch to clean up and finalize the part. In this video, we'll cover saving and exporting files and using Fusion 360 in offline mode. In the top left corner of Fusion 360, you'll notice an icon with nine small squares. This is the data panel, which is essentially an archive and backup of projects you've created and worked on in the past. The Job Status button allows us to toggle offline mode on and off. When Fusion 360 is not connected to the internet, it will switch to offline mode automatically, so it's important to know how offline mode affects the data panel. Notice how we lose the ability to create a new folder, upload files, and open any of the grayed out files that are backed up only to the Autodesk cloud. This file here is saved locally to my hard drive. However, we still have the ability to create a new project and sketch parts. Additionally, we can use all of the tools in the manufacture workspace and post-process G-codes. There is no autosave feature in offline mode, as there is in online mode. You'll need to click the save icon in the top left corner to save locally. To sync the locally saved offline created parts across other computers with Fusion 360 that you're assigned into, You'll need to connect to the internet, access the data panel, and click Upload. The final thing we're going to cover is exporting a completed CAD project as a DXF file. There are several reasons to do this. Some common ones include importing it into a different CAD CAM software, sending it via email to a friend or colleague, or uploading it to a file sharing website like Fireshare. Go ahead and open a project. Note that it should by default open into the design workspace. In the drop-down menu tree on the left, click the Sketches drop-down menu, then right-click the sketch you'd like to save as a DXF file. From there, select the Save as DXF option. The Save menu will allow us to name the file and select an output folder. Once you're done, click Save. The sketch is now saved as a DXF file to the output folder that we selected, and it has the name that we gave it. This concludes the CAD portion of our Fusion 360 tutorial video series. Continue on to the next section to begin the CAM process. Thank you for watching!